Hello everyone, let's talk about making wall art with Blurb Bookwrite software. So if we open our software, the first screen that opens is this Welcome to Bookwrite screen, and there's a couple of things I'd like to bring to your attention. The first is the big blue beautiful create button, which we will get to in a second. And underneath that, there's two tabs that I think are very helpful. The first is your books, and the second is your wall art. This is where you would find your prior projects. If you'd made a wall art project before, you'd find it here, and if you'd made a book before, you'd find it here. Let's go ahead and hit create. When we hit create, what opens is on the left hand side books and magazines and on the right hand side is wall art. So let's go ahead and hit wall art and hit next. And what comes up are your wall art options, canvas prints, acrylic prints, metal prints. And underneath, if I have canvas prints selected, what you'll see down below is the aspect ratio. And then underneath that, you'll see the sizes available in that aspect ratio and the prices. And if I change from canvas to acrylic, you'll see those numbers change and the same for acrylic to metal, you will see those change. So let's go ahead and hit metal. I'm just gonna choose a square. I'm gonna hit next. And this screen is important. I wanna show a couple of things here. Uh, this screen is reminding me that I have a metal print selected in square. And if I hit the drop down menu, it shows me the sizes available in square. So if I hit 12 by 12, it now shows me the price for a 12 by 12. But to the right, it shows the product features, which is the detail about exactly what you're ordering. So if you want to know the detail, this is a great place to find it. Radiant, ultra thin metal panel with smooth rounded edges, etc. Let's go back and hit acrylic. I'll do the same thing. I'll choose a square and hit next. And this next screen shows exactly the same thing, but this time for acrylic. So acrylic print square, my two size options, I'll choose 12 by 12, it shows the price. And here are my product features for acrylic. So let's go back because there's a lot about canvas that's interesting and some things I wanna show you. So I've got canvas selected. I'm gonna choose a portrait aspect ratio, hit next. This is reminding me that I've chosen canvas in portrait. I'm gonna choose an eight by 10. It shows my price here, and here's my product features for uh, canvas, which is museum grade canvas, 370 GSM with a two over one Oxford weave, etc. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna name this and I'm going to save it. And as soon as I've got that selected, I'll hit save and then start a new project. When I choose canvas, the first thing that I'm greeted with is this pop-up window that gives me three options, wrap image, solid color, and custom layout. And let me explain these a minute. The wrap image means that if whatever I put on the front panel, whether it be a photograph or a piece of artwork, it will wrap around the edges of the canvas, not only on the sides, but on the top and bottom. The solid color means that I can, whatever I put on the front panel, a photograph or a piece of art is on the front, but then I can have a solid color that wraps the outside of the canvas, meaning the sides and the top and bottom. Also note that if I chose to put an image on the cover like this and I reduced the size of the image, this solid color would also be around the edges of the front panel acting as a border to the photograph or piece of artwork. And finally, we have custom layout. And custom layout is where you can basically do anything you want, and that's what I want to feature here. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And what I'm going to do is import a photograph, or it's actually a little drawing that I did, a selfie, which I think will work nicely for our test. And I'm going to drag this down here, and I'm going to put it here in the center of my, of my canvas. And if I center it, float it here in the middle, and I hit preview, you'll see it's pretty, pretty basic here. I can, I've got an image floated with a nice big white border on it, but my side panels and my top and bottom are just all white. But what if I want a little bit more excitement here? Let's say I go up here to the Draw Shapes tool, and I draw a, a box in here on my top, on the top side of my canvas, and I hit inside that, and I go here to this little color checker right here. And let's say that for whatever reason, I want a blue top to my canvas. Look at this. If I go up to preview, now I've got a blue panel on the top. But what if I want even more? What if I go back to my draw shapes tool and I come down here to the bottom and I say, well, I've got a blue top, but what if I want, I go back to the same color picker. What if I want yellow on the bottom? And I hit apply. I can go back up here to preview, and lo and behold, I've got a blue top and a yellow side. I can make these any colors I want to make, but it gets even better. So let me go back here. What if I go up to my type tool, and I take the same type tool, and I go down here, and I draw another box over my colored bottom of the canvas, and I hit inside. Now I've got a type tool, and what if I write something? How about this? This is Dan. And let's select that and let's make it a little bit larger. 
And then let me reduce this box a little bit and move it over. Now I've got that in the center. And now look at what happens when I hit this. I've got typography over the top of my colored bottom panel of my canvas. This is the custom feature. And this allows you to do whatever color you want. If you want to add typography, you can draw another shape on top of this and add something else. You really can do anything that you can dream up. And that's, I think, why it's the, probably the most interesting feature that we have on this canvas side. So that, in a nutshell, is how you make wall art with Blurb Bookwrite software.